Hello students, welcome to the English class. Today, we will learn a topic from our reading section that is comprehension and you can also call it unseen passage. So students, you must have seen in your English exam the very first question which comes in your reading section is solve the unseen passage or comprehension. So today I will teach you how to solve the comprehension. So students, first let me tell you the meaning of comprehension. So students, comprehension means to read and understand. In comprehension, you have to read the passage very carefully and you have to understand it by your own. So in comprehension, you have to read the passage and after that you have to understand it. Okay, so the very first step in comprehension is read the passage at least two times and after reading, try to understand the passage by your own. And after doing reading and understanding, you have to think by your own. You have to use your mind. And after reading the comprehension, few questions are given to you. You have to answer those questions. And the answer of those questions are given, already given in the passage. You have to find out the answers very carefully from the passage. So students, to understand the comprehension, let's solve one comprehension. So we are solving one comprehension from your English grammar book, that is your self-learning book. This is lesson number one of your English grammar self-learning book, which is given on page number nine. So let's start reading this comprehension. Lesson number one, my family. I am Dia. I live with my family. We have a big family as my grandfather, grandmother, father, mother, sister, brother, uncle, aunt and my cousins live together. There are 12 members in my family. My grandfather is the head of our family. So I read this passage and after reading, I come to know that here is one girl. Her name is Dia and she is telling about her family. Okay, so students, uh, you have now let me ask few questions from you from this passage. Okay, first let me tell you the meaning of cousins. Cousins means the children of uncle and aunt. And the last line I am reading again. My grandfather is the head of our family. So here head means the in charge of the family or the person who makes decisions for the rest of the family. Clear? So I hope you all have read this paragraph very carefully. Now let me ask you a few questions from this paragraph. Now tell me what is the name of the girl? Yes, the name of the girl is Dia. Does she have a small family or a big? Yes. Dia has a big family. Now tell me, who is the head of the family? Yes, grandfather. Next, how many members are there in the family? Yes, there are 12 members in the family. Now let's read the next paragraph. Read it carefully. Then again, I will ask few questions from this paragraph. 
my grandfather loves to spend time with us he likes old movies and music he tells us nice stories my grandmother has taught us many poems and songs she likes knitting and gardening so here students knitting means bunna as you have seen your grandmother or your mother used to do knitting silai karna bunna that is called knitting they used to do knitting in their free time okay now next my father is a doctor he likes to cook for us sometimes on holidays we go to cinema restaurant or picnic restaurant means a place where we go to buy or eat meals clear students so now let me ask you few questions now tell me where do they go on holidays let me show you the passage now from here you will get the answer they go or you can say they go to the cinema restaurant or picnic on holidays so you can find the answer like this from the passage first read the question and then again go to the passage and try to find out the answers on from these sentences now the next question is what does the grandmother like to do now find out what is the answer she or grandmother likes to likes knitting and gardening clear again you are getting answer from the passage now the next question who tells them the stories who tells them the stories yes grandfather read this line again my grandfather loves to spend time with us he likes old movies and music he tells us nice stories so what is the answer grandfather okay now the next paragraph my mother is a teacher she loves to read and write both my parents help us with our homework my younger brother ayan is very naughty he tears pages from my books we have a pet cat kitty ayan likes to play with kitty ayan and my cousin roni are of the same age my elder sister tina like drawing and painting raima and riya are my cousins raima likes swimming and riya likes dancing so here she is telling about her family members their likes their dislikes okay so you must have read this very carefully now let me ask you few questions now tell me what is the name of dia's younger brother find out yes my younger brother ayan so what is the name of her younger brother yes ayan next question who helps them to do their work read this passage again both my parents help us with our homework so what is the answer here their parents help them to do their work next what is the name of dia's pet cat what is the name of dia's pet cat here is the answer yes what is the name of her pet cat yes kitty now the next one who are of the same age who are of the same age yes as you can see this line i am and my cousin roni are of the same age clear so you will write i am and her cousin roni are of the same age next what does tina like to do you must have read 
आपने पढ़ा होगा टीना लाइक्स ड्राइंग एंड पेंटिंग सो स्टूडेंट एज यू कैन सी ऑल द आंसर आर गिवन इन दैसेज द ओनली थिंग इज यू हैव टू रीड इट केयरफुल यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड इट एंड you or you must have the ability to find the answers from the passage aapko find out karna padega passage mein se okay now who likes swimming yes raima likes swimming who is a doctor yes father is a doctor now let me uh, tell me my younger brother ayan is very naughty because based on the passage which of the following is true fights with everyone tears pages from my book breaks everything yes the answer is tears pages from my book let me show you the answer in the passage see he tears pages from my books okay he is here ayan okay so all the answers you will get from the passage now read the last paragraph we all are the students of the same school we go to school together and return together by school bus we like to play games like hide and seek board games bowling hopscotch hopscotch means you also call it steppu in which you uh, you used to draw boxes on the ground and hop on it that is called hopscotch badminton football together we all love one another and live happily together okay so this is the end of the passage let me ask you few question from this paragraph now now tell me how do they go to school read the passage again how do they go to school yes here is the answer given they go to school by school bus now the next question name some games which they like to play as you can see few names are given here you can name them hide and seek board games bowling hopscotch badminton football okay now the last question we go to school together and return together by school bus after which of the following sentences in the passage can the above sentence be placed ayan likes to play with kitty raima likes swimming and riya like dancing we all are the students of the same school yes the answer is we all are the students of the same school clear to you students now the next one what does this passage teach you this passage teaches us that it is good to live in a big family one should have a pet cat one should be interested in painting yes the answer is it is good to be to live in a big family because she in this all in all this passage she is talking about her family okay so now this is the last question given in your book in uh, it is not from the passage it is a general question which you have to answer yourself the question is how many members are there in your family write their names in the space given below now here you have to tell about your family how many members are there in your family and you have to write the name of your family members okay students okay that's it so keep doing practice like this then it would be more clear to you thank you